Hi everybody, I'm Lady Red and this is Lady Red's Tech Reviews. Today in this video, we're going to unbox the Moto 5G, brand new and available at Cricut Wireless. So stay here, leave a like on the video if you enjoy the content and find it helpful. Drop a comment if you have any more questions. And as always, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell and get all the notifications for the new videos. Okay, so this is going to be a quick unboxing, short, sweet, and to the point. The full specs will be at the end of the video, so be sure to stay here for those. And this video has been sponsored by The Programmer Coach. So, without any further ado, let's get into it. Here we have a 5G Android smartphone with high-speed 5G connectivity for all. 50 megapixel triple camera system with dual capture, up to two days of battery, fast and fluid 6.5 inch 90 hertz display, 64 gigs of built-in storage, expandable up to one terabyte. Let's take it out and take a look. We have the device. Your SIM key, SIM card, volume one of stuff people don't read, volume two of stuff people don't read, a charging block, thanks Motorola, with USB to type C charging. I love a good classic, don't you? The device feels good. It's got a good weight to it, not too heavy, not too light. Let's get it out of the wrapper. Good feel. Feels like a thick plastic backing. A nice texture, some gloss, and some texture to it. There is your triple camera system here and your Motorola branding, no Cricut tramp stamp. Your SIM slot and on the side you've got your volume rocker. Your power button is your fingerprint scanner. Let's bring that into focus for you. And on the bottom, as always, I've got 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, another microphone, Type-C charging port, and the speaker. And then your secondary mic right there on top. With your display and your speaker is tucked in nice and neat up there at the top. So let's power it up and see what we've got. So we've got it all set up and let's just take a quick tour of the settings. This first things first. This little widget here goes away real fast. So quick tour of the settings. Personalize. Choose your fonts and your themes. This is what we're going to do here. Check out the fonts available. Da -da -da -da. Hmm. I like that one. Let's do that one. And colors that are available. Custom colors. Purple. Let's do purple. We also have some other colors available. And then, oh look, all different colors. Nice. Okay. And icon shapes. You're going to have some different shapes here. You can see your choices. So let's just leave it there. And then you've got your sounds, display size, font size, system theme, light or dark or transition. Determine your sunrise and sunset times with transition. So for the purposes of this video, we're going to just keep it on light theme. So this makes it super easy for you to personalize your home screen and your icons. System navigation. 
tap that right there and that's going to let you choose between gestures and three buttons i prefer gesture navigation but if you like three button there's that too now network and internet standard stuff here connected devices uh, bluetooth is available here android auto i do not see nfc as an option so this is not nfc capable again full specs are at the end of this video your apps as with all of my unboxings i'm going to tell you to disable those chrome notifications turn that off it'll save you a lot of embarrassment because chrome can get pretty raunchy cricket partner tab turn it off it's pointless and we're going to go right down here and look for this little demon mobile services be sure to disable that it'll invite unwanted guests into your phone and then we're going to do one more called the scoop that one's just annoying okay and that's where your apps are located moving right along we've got your notifications again if i want to change notifications for a specific app i go into that app in the apps menu but you can also see your conversations here um bubbles i hate the bubbles i don't use conversation bubbles device and app notifications are going to be found here your do not disturb preferences are found here you can actually change it um i have a schedule with mine so people can't call me in the middle of the night or when i just really don't want to be bothered and uh, durations for quick settings all of that is found here people some people can interrupt like i have my daughter who can interrupt me anytime because um if i want to hear you know I, I want her to interrupt me she barely like she does her own thing you know i have an adult daughter if you are a parent of an adult child you know what i mean and this is just some more of your menu here for your notifications moving right along you want to check out your battery usage if your battery is draining too quickly this is something you can do to set it up uh, just to check it and see where your battery usage is going uh, adaptive battery i use adaptive battery i find it very handy that will kind of you your battery usage you know it's going to turn off the stuff you're not using automatically Optimized charging increases battery lifespan and efficiency. I like optimized charging. Overcharge protection limits charges after three days of continuous charging. I don't know who charges their phone for three days. Maybe you plugged it in, went on a trip and forgot. Who knows what happens? Uh, battery percentage, we're gonna turn that on. It's gonna show right up here in the status bar. Sounds and vibrations. You're gonna see all of your volumes here. You've got Dolby Atmos here. This is going to be kind of a glorified equalizer. Smart adjustments. Allow and see your music. You'll be able to adjust it when you're connected to headphones or Bluetooth speaker. That's what that's all about. You can change your ringtone. Live caption is actually pretty cool. If you're talking to somebody and maybe you want to see what they're saying maybe you're having a hard time hearing them and you can actually see what they're saying live captions pretty handy for that vibrate for calls you want to change some stuff but that is where you're going to find all of the options to uh, change your sounds display you can change all of your display options right here screen time out after one minute i leave mine on two minutes one little hint if you're backing up a lot of stuff in google photos you're going to want to switch that over to 30 minutes because it may stop backing up after the screen goes off all right and there you can switch it back with dark theme your font size if you have trouble seeing you might want to increase your font size and display size the nightlight, I don't ever really see the point in the nightlight, but there it is. Uh, you can change your color saturation, display refresh rate, you can change it here. Um, you know, the higher you go, the more battery it is going to take. Um, just leave it on automatic, whatever you choose, you can play with it, you know whatever is best for you full screen always allow apps to show content around the camera cutout instead of you know for example below it so 
and if you're not used to the camera cut out, then you, you kind of get used to it after a while. Your screensaver is the clock. Attentive display is pretty handy. That keeps the screen on while you're looking at it, saying you're reading some piece of news you found. It keeps the screen from going dark when you're looking at it, so it's good to have that turned on. Peak display, optimize how you interact with your phone. That just lets you peek at it to see, you know, when you pick it up, take a look and let you see if you've got any kind of notifications. I find it pretty handy. Three finger screenshot, one of my favorite features by Motorola. Put three fingers on the screen, you can take a screenshot. Swipe to split is still kind of confusing. I'm just not coordinated enough for that. Screen record. Capture a video of your screen while it's in use. Built into your phone, you don't have to download a third-party app to record your screen. Pretty darn handy. So, moving right along, your different wallpapers will be found here. You can choose from live wallpapers, which will drain your battery. You can download them, uh, something from photos or pre-download them. Your accessibility suite, I want to make sure to tell you, turn this off. It can cause some problems. Talk back, make sure that's off. It can cause problems. Magnification, make sure that's off. It can cause problems. Um, a lot of people complain about real-time text. Apparently some people use that and other people don't understand why. It's because this is for the hearing impaired. And it confuses a lot of people. So if you are a user of real-time text, please just communicate to those that you're talking to what you're using. Security. This is where you're going to set up your fingerprint. Face unlock is available. You can keep up with your security patches, your play updates. All of that is found here. Privacy. If you just want to keep track of what's got permission to use what and what doesn't. That's where you find all of that. Safety and emergency, passwords and accounts. Before you factory reset a device, you want to visit this area and make sure you remove all of those accounts. Your Google updates, system update, rating feedback, help system. And here you can see your performance. Storage cleanup. That's a nice little feature. That's something neat. RAM boost is available. And the About Phone section, let's see what it will tell us. Android 12, 4 gigs, 64 gigs of RAM, 64 storage, 1600 by 720 display. Rear, the front is a 13 megapixel selfie cam. Rear is 50 by 2 by 2. And there is your hardware information. Your camera features. We're going to take a quick tour of the camera. We're not going to do a full photo showcase. You're going to have slow motion, video, photo, standard, and looks like macro is available, portrait, and you can adjust your blur there, pro mode. And then you've got full changeable settings. You can see Pro Mode is available. And there are your settings. You can go through there. You've got the cutout mode, which is really fun to play with. Spot color picks out one color, and everything else is in black and white except for that color. Night vision, cinemagraph. You can make giffies with those. Panoramic, group selfie, ultra high resolution. Dual capture, where you can see the front and rear camera. Time lapse for video, spot color for video, which is really cool, and dual capture for video. And you've got AI settings for the camera, photos, still photography caption options, which you've got front photo resolution, selfie mirror, you can put your watermark on. Efficient videos, I don't recommend that because that will result in some compression. Stabilization, capture settings, quick capture, tap anywhere, shutter sound, assistive grid, leveler, save settings. If you have an SD card in there, you can automatically save it to that. And there's going to be your app menu. And that is your quick tour of the Moto G 5G. What do you think about it? Let me know down in the comments. And be sure to stick around for the spec screen and a word from our sponsors. I'm Lady Red, and this is the quick unboxing and the first look at the Moto G 5G. Hang around. 
specs and sponsors are next. question for you. Do you like going to work every day, doing what you're doing right now, forever? If not, I'd like to share with you a little about the sponsor of this video, The Programmer Coach. The Programmer Coach is an online coding program that helps people who are serious about earning a higher salary learn how to code and get a job as software developers. The program is unique in that it te they teach you how to code by doing, by practicing, and becoming highly competent in coding. No boring teachers, no watching endless videos, and no boring labs. Just enough knowledge to get started, and then practice, practice, practice. Plus, they provide you with coaches to help you whenever you run into any issues. And at the end of their program, they will work with you until you land a job. That's right. And you won't pay the bulk of your tuition until you actually land a job as a software developer. And the best part, the program is affordable and accessible for anyone and everyone. Sound good? To learn more, go to becomeaprogrammer.com right now. Once again, that's become a programmer.com